hello 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 how are you guys doing today we're back with another video and today we are going to make Jamaican red beans and rice so first off we're gonna rinse our red beans I'm using Goya red kidney beans I had a 16 ounce bag but it was about half of the bag so this is about eight ounces of red kidney beans we're just gonna rinse it in some cool water pour this water out fill it back with a little bit more water and then put it on the stove so we'll be right back okay that was quick I did a lot in that little break but I rinsed out the um, I rinsed out the beans, added some more water to it. Remember, these are beans that just came out of the pack, so they need to soak. I covered it again with water. I have added some regular garlic powder, not garlic salt. Garlic powder, just plain old garlic powder. I added some adobo. I've added two sprigs of some dried thyme. Rinsed it off, put it in there. It's uh, sitting in this corner over here. And this is half of an onion chopped up. We are just going to put this on the stove. It's about an eight, so it's kind of high. And just going to put the cover over it and let it start to boil. Okay, so our beans have been bubbling and boiling for a while. I have forgotten to add some bay leaf, so I had came back afterwards and added two bay leaves to the pot. So initially when you put it in you want to put the bay leaf in there that just adds more flavor the leaves have come off the thyme sticks but I'm just gonna leave it in there and this is what we're working with now I have already added water to it but I just decided to come back and show you where we're at so we'll be back when it's completely cooked through okay we are back the beans are finished. They've actually been done for a little while. I turned it off. At this point, you're going to want to taste it. Get a little spoon. You want to make sure it has enough salt and seasoning to taste, and I think it does. So what I've done, please don't mind the noise I'm multitasking cooking another meal. I have washed my rice already. This is about three cups. I use parboiled rice. So this is three cups of parboiled rice that I have already rinsed and washed out. Um, I like to wash my rice until the water runs clear. There's no more... Um, cloudiness in the water. That's like washing out the starch. So, what we're going to do now, just kind of break it up because it's been sitting for a little while. We're going to add the rice to the pot. Let's mix it up. I'm going to put this stove back on, I'm going to put it to like a 7, so it's kind of medium high. This is 3 cups of rice. We've already got a little bit of liquid from, got a little bit of liquid from the beans. And then what we're going to do next is, sorry, add some water. So, again, I don't measure, but I'm going to add water until it's about one inch above my rice. So, I think that will be enough. I'm going to mix it around. And loosen up the rice a little bit.
Now this is not an inch above. So if you have a can of um, coconut milk, you can add it now. Like I said, I'm going to put the ingredients in the description box below. I don't have any coconut milk, but what I do have... Let me get the box. I have um, this, which is creamed coconut. It's like a substitute for coconut milk. So that's a closed container. This is what I'm using. And I think I'm going to put all of this into the pot. That's going to give it my coconut milk flavor. Now the water looks murky because of the beans, but it's not a whole... So that's not quite an inch. The rice, up, you know, just place it until the top of the rice. So I'm going to add a little bit more water because that's not quite an inch. Okay, so I have added my coconut square. That's this. These little yellow pieces right here are cooking margarine. It's butter. So you want to add a little bit of butter to the pot. Or if you have oil, you can just add like a couple of tablespoons of oil. Two to three. Now we're going to allow the water to boil. The stove is kind of high. We're going to let the water boil. At this point, if you want to put pepper, you can put a whole pepper. It will flavor the pot. It's not going to make the pot spicy. You can put pepper. If you tasted the beans, hopefully you already added um, any salt that you wanted to add. You can add a little bit more seasoning to it if you choose. If you want it spicy, you can um, put some pepper flakes into here. But right now we're just going to wait and let it boil and then we're going to let the rice steam. Okay, so the stove is back on. It's kind of high. We're just going to continuously like stir the pot. We don't want it to stick and we want the butter, the margarine. If you use butter, we want that to melt out. We want the um, coconut block to melt out. If you have oil and if you use coconut milk, you won't need to stir it as much because, you know, it's liquid. It's just going to melt right in. We just want to make sure everything is incorporated. And we want to leave the pot until it starts to boil. You can see it's starting to boil. The bubbles are coming up. We want to let this come to a rapid boil and allow it to boil for about three to five minutes. After it's been boiling for five minutes, then we're going to lay a piece of foil over it and then put the cover on so that way we can trap all the steam. And we're going to turn the stove all the way down to low, like the lowest that it can go right before it's off, and then let it sit for about 20 minutes. I know that, you know, it's already coming up, so I don't mind to stir it because I know that the it's coming almost to a boiling point. So we're just going to let this sit here and allow it to boil for about five minutes. And then I'll come back and show you guys the next step. Okay, we are back. We have been boiling for about five minutes now. The rice is starting to cook. It's plumped up. So what I'm going to do now, I just, I like to turn it so it doesn't completely stick to the bottom. Some people like that though. My husband particularly likes that. That little layer of rice at the bottom that kind of gets stuck and it's a little crispy. That's nice sometimes, but it's a personal preference. So I have turned the stove. It was over here on 8. I've turned it all the way down to 1, right between 1 and low. We are still bubbling. Here is my foil. I've gotten a piece of foil large enough to cover the top of the pot. Press it down a little. It is hot. Be careful. Then we're going to cover it with the lid. Once we cover it, we want to fold and this is a little trick I learned a few years ago. I'm going to fold the ends in like this. 
so that way everything steams. And we're not, I'm not just folding it down or folding it up. I'm kind of folding it to completely cover it because we don't want steam to escape, whether it's going to escape like up or down. There we go. Now we're going to let this sit for about 20 to 25 minutes. I am going to set my timer for 25 minutes so that way I can go disappear and I'll be back when the timer is going off. Okay, so 25 minutes are up. Our rice, we're going to check on the rice and see if it is ready. Get my fork out. And we're going to peel back the foil. I just peel it up. Makes it easier to pick it up. Because some of it's facing down. Now 25 minutes, it should be done. If it is not done, oh, it's not done. <laughs> We're just going to close it back and allow it to keep going. I didn't turn the stove off. It's almost done. We're going to close it back and let it finish cooking. It's hot, but it tastes good. <laughs> so, I'm just going to close this back. Fold the foil back down. Keep the steam in. And let it keep going. Because we want it to be completely finished. No more liquid on the top. Only the water. Alright. So maybe we're going to put the timer for another five minutes. Mm, it's the ten minutes. And then we'll be back then. Okay. Ten minute timer is up. And our rice is done. So when we came back, took the cover off. And the top, I, I've already kind of like fluffed the rice but there was a little pool of liquid on top just like previously but the rice underneath is done and I think that liquid didn't soak all the way up because that was part of um, you know like the starchy liquid from the beans cooking so here we are with our finished pot of Jamaican rice and peas red beans and rice so if you have lasted all the way to the end of the video, thank you very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see. Um, we only highlighted how to make the rice today. You would eat this with maybe some jerk chicken. Put some jerk cheese seasoning on the chicken. Throw it in the oven or throw it on the grill. Or maybe some something curried curry chicken, curry beef, anything like that. At this point, because our rice is finished, you can take out the sticks from the thyme. You can dig around the pot and take out the bay leaves. And then you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening and please come back. Bye.